The film starts with a man named Ben who recently invented a lens camera with which we can see things that are not visible that exist, but are not visible like ghosts, spirits etc. Ben went to a party where he meets a ghost tour guide who takes people to places where ghosts and spirits are present because that girl also had a lot of faith in ghosts here Ben and the tour guide had already started liking each other and they got married very soon now here we know that the tour guide was also a medium which means that she had faith in ghosts and she could also talk to them but then she dies in an accident after which Ben was very sad he was always missing after which he himself becomes the tour guide of the ghost which means that he left his work and started doing his wife's work although he himself did not have faith in ghosts after this we see a woman named Gabby who came to live with her son in a very old mansion in this palace and this was a haunted mansion that's why her son sees a lot of different types of ghosts and shadows here who were trying to scare him because of which they both run away from the mansion when she sat in her car a ghost also sat in her car which now starts going with them now in the mansion a ghost says laughingly that go away children but you will have to come back here and see you will come back very soon now now when Ben was sleeping in his house his father came to meet him because of the lock on the door he breaks the lock and comes in. Himself Ben threatens him to go from there to which the father says that I need your help a mother and son are stuck in a haunted mansion so can you go to help them? They're at their house you also have such a camera with which you can record ghosts in your camera on which Ben clearly refuses that no I am not going because I do not have faith in ghosts anyway the father says that if you go there that family will give you a lot of money now listening to the money Ben agrees because he needed them a lot now after the father's departure Ben starts preparing his camera etc. Then when he came to the mansion there he met Gabby and her son now both of them were here. Because that day they had already run away but they came back because that ghost had already said it because of that he came here before coming in. Gabby stops Ben at the door saying that if you want to go then you can still go because once you come to the mansion then you will never be able to go from here Ben does not understand what she is saying although he felt strange but because he had come for money so he comes inside now Gabby Gabby tells him about herself and about this mansion there are many different kinds of ghosts here which scare us by doing strange things we are living here by setting up a tent in the middle of the house because this place is safe for us she thinks Gabby's words are false on top of that he forgot to charge the camera that's why he was just acting to make fake pictures meanwhile we see a ghost standing near him who was not doing anything at this time that's why Ben thinks that there is no ghost here he also told Gabby that there is no ghost here you are scared for no reason after saying this he sat in his car and left for home when he was at home he started seeing a ghost which Ben is not afraid of but he charges his camera and makes a picture of that ghost his shadow picture was made which was an old man's ghost he used to be a swordsman Ben saw this picture of that man in the mansion that means this ghost was from that mansion from that day he started troubling Ben one day when he woke up he saw that his room was in the middle of the sea and water started flowing in the next room that ghost was telling him to go back to that mansion Ben agreed to that when he agreed again Gabby and her son were waiting for him because they knew that Ben will come back because from now on that mansion has become a mansion like them so that ghost will not let them go anywhere so now it became clear that how Gabby her son and other people get trapped here even that father was trapped here who had sent Ben here now Ben started getting angry at him that why didn't you tell me the truth here and he shows the picture of that ghost on which the father relaxes him and says that we can fight with them on which Ben says that this idea is not right why are we forced to stay here we should find a way to escape from here now today evening a ghost started trying to scare Ben for the first time he got scared a lot the rest of the people take care of him now the next day all of them were talking to each other that we have to get out of here and stop all this for which we need some more people one such person who knows the history of this man and another person who is medium so that he can talk to the ghosts and ask them that what do the ghosts here want why do they force the people to come here again and why is everyone being haunted when they leave the mansion now at night Ben puts many more cameras in the entire mansion where all the ghosts were running around seeing this Gabby's son says that maybe they too are running away out of fear of someone now here Ben also understood that these ghosts do not want to scare us or harm us instead they want to keep us in this mansion now Ben and the father went out of the mansion mansion one day where they met an old man who knew the history of the mansion. He says that this mansion was built many years ago. The owner of this mansion, his wife also died of a dangerous disease, after which everything started to get strange here. Now the old man had a map of this mansion, from which they both snatch and run away, but he does not go after them. Now due to the arrival of the map, some information here was caught by him. And the coincidence here was that a medium also gets stuck here. He found out that when the mansion owner's wife died. So many mediums and common people came here, whose ghost was deadly dead 
dead. People used to get weird coming here, like two brothers shot each other and killed .so in the same way a wife shot her husband. Uh, he also got a letter here, which the owner of the mansion had written to a very good medium, which was also a magician that he had written that you came to the room above. Now when they came up looking for that room .so, they found that room which was actually a secret room. Now they all went to that room. They hold each other's hand, because the ritual magician's medium wanted to talk to the mansion owner's soul, and then his soul came, which writes on the paper that you should talk to that magician, which is the medium, she can help you, now before the medium tries to talk to the magician, a very powerful evil soul comes here and attacks, and breaks their ritual, he picked up the medium and threw it out, then that old man also came here, and now that poor man also has to face the ghosts, a ghost picks him up and hits him on the head, now they all came back down carefully, the sister was missing her wife. So he tells the medium to get my wife's soul to talk to me, saying which he started crying very emotionally. On this, the medium says, that I am so sorry. Now they were not able to talk to the magician. So they start looking for something related to him. Ben got a box dot on which the name of the magician was written. He started coming down with this box, where the wife's ghost attacks him, which was looking very scary, because his eyes were very brown. But he somehow comes down. Now they all open the box together, from which they finally get the magic stuff. A book and a big crystal ball. I in which the magician herself was there, who was able to talk to him. And she starts telling the true story of this mansion. So the owner of the mansion was very sad because his wife had passed away. That he kept remembering remembering her all the time that he could not stop. So to talk to his wife. He called the magician medium, who tried many times, but his wife never came, but here a mistake happened. Be why mistake? A path of the world of these souls was opened, from where the souls and ghosts started coming and settled here forever. Now the magician failed and told the owner of the mansion, let it be, leave the stubbornness, you can't talk to your wife, but he did not agree, and kept trying to call him again and again, which happened that a very dangerous evil soul came in the form of his wife, and he took the life of the owner of the mansion, now seeing this, the magician found out about this soul that he found out that he is the worst soul living here, who kills the people who come here and imprisons their souls, and she lives on people's sorrows, takes advantage of it, like she used the sorrow of the owner of the mansion, she started living on it, and then she also died. The magician tells that before this I could have seen that evil soul that he also killed me and imprisoned my soul in this crystal ball. Now the magician also tells that a very dangerous evil soul came. In the form of his wife, that soul is of a man, who wants to do a ritual for which he needs a thousand souls. So far he has imprisoned 933 souls, and the next full moon night he will complete this mission of his. He will kill people quickly and complete a thousand souls, and then he will come out of this mansion, where he will destroy the world. This is the reason that he kills people quickly and imprisons their souls. Now the magician's soul started going from there, but she says to the sister that you should be strong, because that ghost is now able to feel your sorrow, which is yours and your wife, after her death. Now these people talk to each other that there are only 933 souls. On which the old man says that no, the magician was telling the numbers of her death. Actually, there are 999 souls in total, and now that evil soul needs only one soul, then a thousandfold, now all of them are worried. They start talking about what to do, what does he want, how to save him, and who can he be, now the other. Little ghosts were also bothering him, they also start bothering Gabby while cooking, whatever she puts in the pan, she was playing with the soul and flying it in the air and now Gabby's son was sitting alone outside, she talks to Gabby about him, that I am very worried about my son, just don't let anything happen to him. Because I miss him a lot. He has no friends. I myself saw the child behaving badly with him. That's why he is always alone. Hearing this, the sister sympathizes with him and goes to him then. The child says very innocently that I am sitting alone because I have no friends and neither does anyone talk to me. So I got used to being alone and now I am remembering my dad who has gone somewhere on which the sister makes him understand talks nicely and befriends him and started laughing and joking with which the child's sister also started getting happy. Now the medium says that I will do the ritual and go to the world of souls. And I will try to know about the bad souls from the souls there. Now he didn't know the ritual so well. That's why instead of him, the sister gets lost in this ritual and starts roaming in this palace. And here he sees the ghosts that how they are living in the mansion. He then saw the mansion owner's soul, which tells the sister to go back anyway. Because that bad soul just needs one soul which he will take anyway. After which we will be stuck here forever. 
will never be free, and he will destroy the outside world and make his kingdom there. Now the bad soul comes here and attacks the sister. He fell down in fear, then the soul started trying to catch the sister. Here we found out that this is actually a very cruel man, who was the soul of the infamous head box of his time, who always wore a hat. Now here his soul was not a head, this head box soul's name was Crump. He couldn't catch the sister and he starts running away from there. But in the meantime, the medium showed him the way that he comes to his senses in the real world. Now these people call him by his name. Headbox also makes a sketch of Crump, which made him realize that he became quite rich by growing up. But he has been a victim of cruelty since childhood. Everyone used to treat him badly. He used to live in this mansion with his mom and dad. But after his mom passed away, dad removed him from the mansion and he started living here alone. But after a while, Dad died in a strange way, after that Crump came back to the palace, and he used to call people and party day and night, but later it was found that he used to kill people who came to the party one by one dot because he was doing all this for his wealth, because of which he had a lot of wealth and fame, but people somehow found out about him, and to punish him, his head was cut off, his body was buried in this mansion, but his head was never found, now the media says that if we want to kill Crump's soul forever, then we need something related to it dot that's why now Ben. Father and Gabby's son want to go to Crump's second wife, where the old swordsman's soul also went with them, who was helping them, and tells that Crump's soul will not kill such a person. I in fact, that dying person will surrender himself to Crump, and that soul also shows them a basement, where the graves of dead people and stuff were, and here they find Crump's head also buried dot on top of which he comes from there with a hat. Now Ben started leaving Gabby's son outside and going inside, where the father tells him the truth, that I am not a father priest. I in fact, I deceive everyone, because in greed for money, I have to do this, please, I made a mistake. Forgive me dot on which Ben says that you don't worry, you should help me and those people dot so now trust yourself, whatever happens next, we will see together, now when they both went inside, they saw that Crump's soul has come inside the old man, who attacks them both, and he snatches his head and throws it in the fire dot so that Crump's eternal ritual cannot be done. Now Crump's soul comes out of the old man's body dot he started talking to them, and starts telling his real plan dot he says that Ben will not be my last victim, but Gabby's son, because after the death of the father, he is sad to remember him, and I am trying to control him through his pain, now Gabby reveals the secret secret that he is able to do this, because my son has found out that his father has died, the thing I had hidden from him and said that he has gone somewhere and now Ben and Gabby started going to him to save the child, before Crump's soul traps him in his cunning talks. Ben comes here and tells the child, that if your father dies, then don't. Be sad, you are still a child. Learn to move forward. The child agreed to his words. Then Ben comes out of here with him. Be why then? All the souls outside had attacked the rest of the people. Now this father talks to the souls. He explains to them what was moving towards him. He says that Crump is a very bad soul. You should not support him. If you want, you can go free from here. Or you can live in freedom without fear of anyone. His words had an effect on the souls. They agree to his words and now join him. Their Ben, Gabby and his son. Gabby's stand came, where a lot of souls were present, but they were not saying anything here. Crump follows them, and now he tries to control Ben. He said that if you come with me from here, then you can live with your wife forever. You can tell her how much you love her. Be why then? The good souls had also come here, and the soul of the magic dog from the crystal ball had also come out. And now they all together say to the medium to do the ritual, with which Crump's soul will go to hell forever. As soon as the medium started the ritual, the door of hell opened. I in which slowly slowly Crump's soul starts going. But still he was telling Ben to go with him again and again. But here, Ben, being sensible, controls his pain and kicks Crump in hell. Now all the bad souls here, good souls were fighting with them and running away from here. Now some souls go to their world forever from here, when some good souls always decide to stay here. And they start living happily in this mansion with Gabby and her son now. After being free from here, all these people come back and do their own work, after which Ben goes to Gabby's mansion. We can guess from the conversation between the two that they had started liking each other. Here Ben had come to party. I in addition to that, many more people had come, even the souls who all together have a very fun party. And with this, the story of this film also ends here.